All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode three of Sable. Just loading in for right now. Wow, that was fast. Here we are. We're mounted a uh, smoon at the moment. Let's, uh, you know what? Let me go through all these rings real fast. I have a feeling that they're not here for nothing. Two. It's happening! We fixed it. What did we fix? Let's go find out. And then we will explore the inside of the ship afterwards. Together, me and Simoon fly. We walk past the bird people. Oh, the council. An ancient race. I activated an old monument by driving through some strange rings. Inside the monument, I found a ring shaped artifact. I wonder what the ring shaped artifact is for. Uh, fetch some larva husk from a beetle nest near a camp. Should collect more mask of the gliding. Uh, Tara told me about the wind tower, which has been out of order. I should go investigate. Apparently something has stopped the turbine, so I should be able to fix the tower by removing it. And, uh, yesterday we met Elizabeth. Elizabeth, a retired Ekring guard at Burnt Oak Station. She said she was heading to the Bridge of the Betrayed, and I suggested I should go and see it myself. Alright, first, let's start with the larval husks. Check our queue. Alright. And we will start with that after we explore whatever this ship is. It looks like we can enter from the side over here. So we shall do that. Our stamina back up. The Dunboyne? I can't read. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Can I push these? Nope. What's up there? Alright, let's get on this first. There we go. Scrap metal. And a battery. Oops. We dropped it. Oh. Uh, it's open. Wonderful. And it just continues to spin. Alright. Let's grab this battery. Can I run with it? Cannot. But we can throw it. Yeah. Not very far. And that opens the door. Cool. But we want to go further in. Oh. Alright. More scrap. Oh, and there's a chum. Chum. Chum horn. Chum horn? We'll just keep calling them chum eggs. 
If we're going to be ignorant, we got to at least be ignorant consistently. Okay, we need a battery. Ooh, battery. That was way too soon, apparently. Okay. Try that again. I went right under it, man. Waiting, 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 go. Inside. Let's pick up the scrap real quick. What do you figure this button does? Extends a bridge, so it would seem. I know it's huh? Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. There's something up there. I want it. Perfect. We are epic. One. Whatever this is first. Scrap metal. Scrap metal collected by scrappers for use in a variety of ways, from repairing bikes and other mechanized goods to producing cuts scavenged from ancient ships and can be traded at the scrapyard at Burnt Oak Station. Awesome. Now what is this? Cuts. A cache of a hundred cuts. Okay. I need a... Oh, I see. We just like shoo. We can just boop. Take this battery over here. Shabam. Uh that's a dude. Okay. Just proceed with caution, I guess. Anything underneath? No? Okay. What's up, Mr. Man? I encounter a strange, luminous figure. It greets me before I even have the chance to be frightened. New user found. Hello, please enter your new username. Find myself. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it aloud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. I some mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship's simulated anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus, but you can call me Saren. I asked Saren what they're doing here. I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting to access ship records. Saren goes still for a moment. Transferring ship's logs to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. Final blinks to life. Strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient texts spill across the screen as the background colors flash wildly. And then with a strange buzzing, like old fabrics pulling apart, there are voices. 
Within long-range sensors, Captain, we're picking up some anomaly readings from the upper atmosphere. It could be plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm. Maintain approach at current speed. What's our time to destination? 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good. Let's keep an eye on those energy signatures and get Saren in on it, too. For pattern recognition. Captain, we need to purge a reactor soon. If we don't... I know. I'm, I'm aware of the risks, Ellis. But I'm not purging in the middle of space. We follow the protocol and the rec recording fails. And the static continues. A few button pushes bring silence in a screen that looks nav navigable in some way. But I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Archive messages. Here are your archive messages. Yep, okay, we already did this. Interesting. All right, well, let's get out of here, I guess. Nothing left for me here. Oop. Scrap. Scrap. Scrappity scrap scrap. in here. Sea Moon! Are you ready to go to the Beatles? Uh, husks. Oh wait, what is this? I should look for more of Saren's terminals. Okay. Where's this at? It's on the other side of the ship. Beautiful. Is that another chimworm? Hold on. You sneaky fella. Thought I wouldn't see ya, huh? Alright, see, man. I love the way see, man, more worlds. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Still heading in the right direction. Okay. There seems to be a boat. Here, let's get off the sea moon for a minute. Oh, we've already marked it. Apparently. Well, we'll have to check it out after we get these uh, larval husks. Or we can just go to it right now. Angler Hut. Huh. Let's climb up and say hello. If, if we can. Jeez. More than once, Simoon has slowed over a dune without my asking. 
or taken an unexpected but gentle curve around an invisible something, and I've wondered if she's drawing from a memory of a time before. But lately I've wondered if she's turning into another different flow altogether, the movements of fish as they swim beneath the sands. I approach the angler with this in mind, and think how interesting it must be to find one's calling in fishing, reaching out for things one cannot see. Might even teach me some patience. Hello there, Geidler. What can I do for you? What do I want to talk about? I'd like to learn the fish? The angler nods. Fancy the angler mask, eh? I hope you're more than patient than some of these gliders. I'm working. I'm very patient. I'm certain he smirks. Hmm. Well, either way, the first thing you'll need is a fishing rod, and I'll give you one of my old ones. Good for a trainee. Take this. Basic wooden rod. You can use this to cast off anywhere. You can find some sand. Anywhere? Anywhere! Whether you get a bite or not will be another matter, but that's the trick of being an angler. Feeling it out. I nod. So if you want to earn a mask, that's how you do it. I'm not here to waste your time if you're not here to waste mine. For your first badge, all I'll need is some fish from right here in Sand Sea. Bring me a bellow guppy, a pebble eye, and a pillfish, and we're good. And remember, each species has its own habitat, so you'll have to search around to find where they live. But word to the wise, lots of fish survive by nibbling on roots of plants. I should give you a place to start. I thank him and depart. Good luck out there. Press T to get out your fishing rod. You can use it to catch fish that live in the sands. Alright, let's go over to the, uh, the plants over there. See if we can't catch something. So T. And then cast off. Oh, oh, I got used WASD. Okay. A dopey dart. Found across Sand Sea, these goofy looking fish are extremely quick but remarkably unintelligent. A bland but nutritious offering of plains across Midden. Okay. One sec. Pebble Eye, Bellow Guppy, and Pillfish. Another dopey dart? Indeed. Okay. Well. Let's finally go take care of these larval husks, wherever they are. We Nice. Looks like there's a ruins, perhaps, over yonder, up ahead. Whoa, whoa, Samoon's getting fancy with it. Trying to show us some tricks she learned while I was exploring the ship. Alright, we're gonna hop off here. Hercules Beetle Nest. Ah, there is something back there. 20 cuts. Some birds up there. Birds over there. I guess let's go up here first, see what's up in here. Hey birds! Birds! God, I love this music. Oh, wait, there's something behind there. 
How do I get behind there? Try getting up this first. Maybe I could like crash through the floor. Oh wait, right here. It's in here. Ah, it's another chim worm. Oh yeah. What is this? Who knows? Beetle. Man, he's massive. I need to get a rounder. Maybe it has something to do with what's up here? And I just gotta find a way up? Let's try. We're master climber. beetle oh oh she likes it she likes it a lot oh my god she's moving so fast uh ha huh, go get it oh god she's coming back run And a second husk. Hell yeah, dude, we're flying through here. Almost literally. Ah. And a third husk. And a chum worm. Ah, that creeps me out. I don't like it when they pulse like that. Alright, get me out of here. Creeping me out. Ah, stop it. I guess the only way out, since the beetle's blocking the path now, is up. Up and out. Fourth larva husk. Uh, a dead camper. Fifth larva husk. You know we're gonna go for that chest, right? 
I hope so. I hope you do know that, because that is exactly what we're about to do. Plus 20. Let me just flow right back here. Easy. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Sable. There's one long ladder. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just seeing if there's any like chewworms worms or anything nearby. Still don't know what they're for, but uh don't wanna loot, like miss them. Miss out on any. You think we can get to the very top of that? That's my question. I want to try. First, let's explore in here. Oh, it'll let me open them behind the door. Basically cheating. It looks like you can get in from the back side. I just want to bring this closer. The beetle seems to like it. There you go. I just want to get to like the very tip top. Is there anything in there? Do you think? I mean, who knows? Doesn't look like there's anything inside. But we made it to the top, and that's that's cool for me. <sighs> Love it. All right, the simoon's probably waiting for us. Six out of three, hell yeah. Um, gone fishing. Let's fix the uh, stubborn snag. Yeah, moon sounds so cool, dude. Oh, oh it's way behind us. Go 
further this way. I think this is it. I think this is our stubborn snag. Alright, Simoon. You be a good girl. I'll be right back. If I can even... Get off. Come on. across the way there appears to be a fire lit over there Just a plant. Just a funky looking plant, like a cactus. What if we fish by it? Apparently not that close to it. But can we not fish on this? Maybe that's what it is. fish here. Two. Okay. So it's gonna be on sand. Can't be on the mountain. Got it. Cool. What is that sound? Maybe it's just the sound of, like, the wind turbine trying to turn. Yeah, I think so. Mm. 
We've made it to the wind tower. That door appears to be shut. Getting there. Oh, some stuff I can move with my body. Wind turbines working once more! Which powers the door down below. Machinist top. Standard uniform worn by machinists in Midden. Machinists will always make sure each set has its own modifications for their own particular needs. Interesting. This window leads here or there. Ah. A chew more, Meg. I don't know where this goes. Something else around? Or is this just to get 
back up there. I guess that is the question, huh? know how to get into there. There has to be a way, right? Right there. Okay. Old ring top. Though they won't help me climb further, the hand wraps and lightweight this gear are great for making scaling mountain heights more comfortable. I like the cloak. All right, uh, but as far as quests, oh, that's the map. Move that marker. We're at the wind tower right now. Just fast travel. But let's go for a view from the bridge. Let's see where Simun's at. We're running towards Simun. Oh, I see her down there. It's southwest of Burnt Oak Station in the Northern Badlands. So let's check the map. Southwest, so northeast, southwest. So it's this way. In the north part of the Badlands. We'll just put a marker there. Let's go like that way. So, we'll go this way. Oh, actually, you know what? That's going to have to do it for today. Next episode, we'll go to the bridge. Uh, that does it for today's episode. Tried a little bit of fishing. Uh, checked out the rings. Got a weird thingy. Um, met an AI. That's cool. Uh, got some mar larval husks. Uh, and just finished getting the wind tower working. We got some new equipment, but I'm going to stick with the cloak just because I think it looks cool. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you're coming back and you're new here and you haven't done so yet. I mean, why not? I'd appreciate it. Um, but till then, I see you guys later. Is it another dopey? It's a dopey dart. Alright. Bye, guys.